On the other side of the aisle is an overt, low-life, street socialist, communist, a uh, terrible loser professional agitator like Bernie Sanders, a guy who doesn't even believe he's getting this kind of attention. A left-wing fanatic that if you ever saw him, you'd say, who is that man? Call the police. He looks like a vagrant. Now, all of a sudden, he was like the college professor that you had who for three hours harangued you about America and then made you feel guilty about white privilege. That's Bernie Sanders. It's unbelievable to me. A communist from his dirty toenails to his, to his dandruff. His dandruff flakes are socialistic. That's how bad this guy is. Now, listen. If you have a choice between a socialist communist like Bernie Sanders and a capitalist like Donald Trump, and that's the general election, it's an 85-15, maybe a 90-10, period. So let's listen to uh, 06. Here is Socialism 101 in Clip 6 from Bernie Sanders. If we are going to transform America, Here we go if again. we are going to have a government that represents working families uh, and not working family. campaign donors, Lord, we need Lord. a political revolution in this country. You've been trying to have a revolution since you, since you were born in Brooklyn, a revolution. Another one, a soapbox revolutionary, Bernie Sanders. Again, if we're going to transform America. Hey, Bernie, we should transform America by making sure that low lowlifes like you can never get where you want to go. Now listen to Seven. As he makes believe he's going to attack the rich, Bernie Sanders, commie in Seven. We need millions of people to stand up and make it clear to the billionaire class they oh, cannot please. have it all. Oh, come on. They are going to start paying their fair share of taxes. Oh, yeah, okay. Now, listen to his voice. He sounds like oh, uh, Woody Allen on Laughing Gas. If Woody Allen came out of a dental office and he was jacked up on Laughing Gas, he'd sound like Bernie Sanders. We need millions of people to stand up and make it clear to the billionaire class. They cannot have it all. They're going to start paying their fair share of taxes. Now, does that inspire you? Is that a man who you would follow into a, a hail of machine gun bullets? I don't think so. This guy is an embarrassment. So, all right, give me a break here. I mean, is that what you want to represent America against China and Putin? That's who you see standing up to Putin? Now, by the way, let's talk about foreign policy. I think Trump could out-negotiate Putin. I think Trump can out-negotiate the Chinese, I think Trump knows how to do business. And America, at the end of the day, is an enterprise very much like a business. And we need someone who knows how to run a business in plain English.